always now. This is Fox 19 Now at 10. And new tonight, a man is behind bars accused of setting his neighbor's truck on fire, and it was all caught on camera. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Rob Williams. Trisha is off tonight. Our Chancellor Wynn joins us live with a story you will only see right here on Fox 19 Now. What can you yeah, Rob, what I can tell you is the owner of that truck actually owns and operates a landscaping and tree service company. And he tells me that that truck is how he brings his tools, his lawnmowers, chainsaws, and other tools to the different sites in order to complete jobs. But the reason we are live here downtown is because behind bars inside of this building, that's the Hamilton County Justice Center. It's 21-year-old Jesse Jeter. He's facing an arson charge, and according to court documents and the arrest report, he actually admitted to starting the fire. You can see where he sat the box, like right right here. Surveillance video shows sparks coming from the bed of the truck before a person is seen running away down the street. I was just in sh shock pretty much. I, I didn't know what to think. I, I was at first I thought it could have been an electrical fire and like I said I got to looking at the cameras and saw the guy creeping around the truck and I was like wh who would do this? The owner of the truck William Hoadley tells me it didn't take him long to realize who was to blame. I got to thinking about the mirror incident. My kid's mom stopped by one day and I got apparently she clipped a mirror at the end of the street on the lady's van and he took it upon himself to come set my truck on fire. According to Cincinnati Police's arrest report, 21 year old Jesse Jeter admitted to starting the fire. Jeter now faces an arson charge, but Hoadley says that doesn't bring his truck back. It's a total loss pretty much and I only had liability insurance SR 22 so you know I, I made a claim but they called the next day and said you can't cover it. Hoadley tells me the truck is essential for his landscaping tree service company so he started a GoFundMe with the hopes of replacing the truck sooner than later. I don't like taking handouts I like to work for what I got. If you had a truck like today, for example, I mean, like, do you have jobs that were kind of in the works and now you're having to cancel on customers? I actually have a job that I still have tools on site and haven't finished because of this. Hoadley says he runs his business out of his home and he had hoped that by openly showing his surveillance cameras that it would deter criminals. I know you have the cameras here. Uh, clearly, smile, you're on camera. One, two, three, every angle. I got cameras in the backyard just for reasons of theft and things like that. I have my equipment. This is where I run my business from. I guess he just didn't care or didn't think they worked. Now, according to court documents, Jesse Jeter's case is scheduled to go in front of a grand jury on December 26th. But for now, reporting live from the Hamilton County Justice Center, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 18 Now.